Hey guys, this is CJ. Uh, welcome to blog entry number four. Uh, today's story is going to be on natural selection. Uh, for those of you who have been living under a rock, natural selection was kind of one of Darwin's theories where the dumb will weed themselves out of the gene pool by probably doing something stupid to get themselves killed. And here's my little story about how I kind of stepped in the way of one of those processes. Probably shouldn't have, but whatever, it's done. So the story goes back about two years ago. I was friends with people who weren't exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. By any stretch of the imagination. Well, um, I was dog-sitting for a friend of mine, and he lived right off the Platte River, kind of in an area that wasn't super polluted. It was actually a really kind of nice area. So I was taking a walk one day with this dog, and I found this perfect little picnic spot. It just had this little sand area. There was a little whirlpool area, so if you got stuck in the river or something, it would just take you back to shore. And I told a couple of my friends, hey, you know, have a tomorrow we go out, have a picnic, and just hang out for a little bit. So we're all sitting there and hanging out, and I will change the names just because revealing their identities, while funny would just be mean. So, um, we're all out there having a good time. It was, again, names changed, Jessica, James, and the guy who I was seeing at the time, we'll call him Bill. And there was also my sister, who's been bugging me to put her in my blog, so here you go. You, you made it to the blog. And her friend, Michelle. So, um, Jessica decides that she's going to start chasing tennis balls into the river. Funny, but not a smart idea. I didn't really care or say anything because, well, it was a whirlpool. Worst case scenario, she gets caught too far out and she comes back to shore if she doesn't fight the current. Here's where the issue is. So, she throws the ball out there and goes chasing after it. She gets just to the edge of that little whirlpool and realizes that the current is too strong and that she needs to fight it so that she can get back to us. Not realizing she's in a little whirlpool and she's not going anywhere if she lets go. She's not going to be taken down river, she's going to come straight back to shore. She clearly does not realize this fact and apparently has never figured out that you don't fight the current. Most people know you do not fight the current if you're swimming in a body of water. Ever. You're not going to win. You're just not. I don't care how good a swimmer you are. It's not going to happen. So if you didn't know, now you do know. So she's out there fighting the current, screaming bloody murder about how she's going to drown. I'm sitting on shore just looking at her like you're a freaking retard. Are you serious? Um, our friend, what did I say I was going to call him, James? Okay, so James is a good friend of hers and a good friend of ours. He kept trying to get with her and be her boyfriend and whatever. So he decides he's going to man up and he's going to go out there and get her. James was not that fit. I'm not going to go into details on that, but he wasn't fit. At all. So... He goes in there to save her. The second he gets out there, realizes he's just as screwed as she is when it comes to fighting the current. He takes her hand, and they're both swimming and fighting and screaming and yelling about how they're both going to drown now. I am still sitting on shore watching this, just in shock about how stupid they're being. Well, my idiot who I was seeing at the time, Bill is not listening to me either. What a shock. He's not listening to me, and he thinks, well, I was a high school swimmer, and I was on varsity, so I can go beat the current and save them both. But he goes diving in. And I'm sitting here watching from the shoreline like, you three are freaking retards. You cannot be this stupid, can you really? Okay, so... All three of them are now out there fighting the current. My sister is on shore, 
freaking out about how they're going to drown. Her friend is following suit. All of them are just screaming about how they're going to die. I'm the only one who has kept a level head. So I'm sitting here going, ah, shit, I'm going to have to go save them. So I get down to my bikini, jump in the water. At this point, James is exhausted. He can't hold on anymore. He has accepted the fact that he's going to drown and die. So he lets go. The second that he lets go, the short, or the current takes him right back to shore. Shocking, I know. Crazy that I would pick a spot that would do that. So he gets right back to shore. Bill, realizing that he is now back on shore, lets go also. And gets taken right back to where he was. Suddenly they're not fighting for their life anymore. And they're fine. Crazy, I know. So I finally get out to Jessica. She is screaming and yelling and kicking and fighting. and I'm trying to get her to stop and she's not listening to a word I'm saying. So now I'm having to fight the current and talk over it and over her screaming to try to get her to listen to me. She stops for about two seconds, doesn't listen to a word I say. No, instead she turns around, realizes that she can't see the boys anymore, and starts panicking even more. She starts freaking out, fighting with every last bit of energy she has, screaming about how the boys have drowned and they're dead and we're next and I finally get her to shut up and let her know if you just float we'll go back to shore just fine so we started swimming with the current she just kind of lays back and floats while I'm like helping her like you would a freaking three year old my hand under her back telling her to hold her freaking breath while we float back to shore. So when we all get back to shore, I don't get a thank you. I don't get a, I'm really glad you kept a level head and came and got us. I'm sorry we were all retards. Instead I get a, this is all your fault. Why would you bring us here? So apparently it was my fault. Honestly, the way I feel about it, you can lead a horse to water. You can't make him chase a tennis ball into it just stupid. Who does that? Seriously. I don't know why you would want to, but for those of you out there who are that stupid, it is not a good idea to chase a tennis ball into a river and then fight the current. It's not a good idea to chase a tennis ball into a river anyhow. It's just not a good idea. Now, if you really are that stupid, I'm going to hope that your friends just don't come after you because we don't need people like you reproducing we just don't we have enough stupid people in the world we don't need any more so don't have kids if you are that stupid don't chase tennis balls don't be that stupid don't have kids that's the bottom line that's my story on that and my whole take um, I'm gonna be trying to post more blogs as soon as I can I hope you all enjoyed this one remember leave a comment down here if you have suggestions on other ones I should do or subscribe share with your friends and until next time have a good one